We also kind of uh, uh, put a. Uh, put the wood back. Stop. Can you stop it? All right, that's it. I have harming arrows right now. Whoa, I, I'm whoa, whoa. War crime. <laughs> All right, this was supposed to be a peaceful um, meeting. Uh, what, anyway, what is going business, on? I... Business, business, business. Anyway, I think, I think to ensure that nothing else is OP, we should probably double check, um, what we have. I mean, not to just like double check if something's OP or not. If you have like an idea, maybe. Is that all of the amendments we would like to make to battles? Shall we? Only, talk to... I just Almost. think Jamie should look over the his rules post and like update it because I know that a lot of these rules for the, were for the, like the first two weeks of the summer. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you know what? Yeah, let's go down all the rules and let's just look at them and revisit them. So Elytra, um, I'll just change Actually, that yeah, to all Elytra, Elytra during battle. <laughs> Yeah, no. Elytra like, during battle. Would that be put on? Would those be able to be put under combat rules instead of the basics? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no beacons. I say clear it because there's no reason not to. No one has beaten the wither yet, to my knowledge. Yeah, um, and plus the wither is like really hard to beat on bedrock. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that thing scares me. I fear no man, but that thing. <laughs> that thing, it scares me. What's going on with shells we... added no harming arrows? No harming arrows. Harming arrows are now a war crime. Yeah, two lives in a siege because that's where the most stake is, you know? Like, if it's just someone coming after, like, a specific person, we can do just one life. But if it's against a base... You will have two good. lives in a siege and keep inventory will be on. Technically... I have one more. Step is, oh, you have one oh, more thing? Hold on, okay. hold on, Kyle. Just, do you think rocket arrows may be too OP for sieges and uh, battles and stuff? Like have the, you uh, tried using rocket arrows? Yes. Wait, who told you about rocket arrows? You did. How much How much damage did they do? Uh, I think, like, I don't know, you said they can take out someone in netherite for, in, like, four hits? Yeah, I lied about that. Oh. <laughs> Kyle, but Kyle, so they played light to me. Yep. Wait, yeah. How do you? What? I think it's. I think they work on Java like that, but I think on Bedrock, I don't even think they do anything. Oh. Aww. All right. <laughs> As Pickstep is technically in control of Malaki, Malaki, the Malaki land citizens, moment do not have a main base. What should be done Stop with it. the? This land. What is the next step for the server for Malachia? Jamie was in charge during the 24 hour period, or well, technically he would still be in charge as of now, of this land. All Malachia yeah, citizens are now expected to leave this land, right? <laughs> or is that. Yes. Okay. To my knowledge, I mean, I guess, the yeah. base is supposed to remain untouched in terms of, like, stuff in chess, but yeah. unoccupied by the citizens. You can take the stuff out of your chest if you want. I don't really care about that. For something, I don't know. Jamie, you got knowledge, me. Jamie, you were forcibly removed from office for yeah. being a criminal. I resign. Hold on. And Ray, Hold on. I think that this land should have someone, or two people possibly, ruling over the land as, like, a... Like a governor almost making it like the like a like a overseas territory type okay. thing while you rule overall as like pig step but you rule that's what oh, a governor is I to a president you are, exactly but my he just manages what happens in this little area and what decisions can he make does the government the governor well, big decisions are like if pig step county is going to war or international trade disputes or anything like that.
after Malarkia fell. Luke and I were in two completely different headspaces. I was disheartened when Malarkia had been put a step further back. Luke, on the other hand, he was hell-bent on taking her home back. A materialistic value I never identified myself with. At one point in our lives, we were inseparable. But now, it feels like I am one man. Fighting for a cause that only I believe in.